If you're eating dinner right now, this story may not be for you. We found downright disgusting things on every piece of produce we tested, bacteria, mm. even fecal matter. Yeah, Local 15's Andrea Ramey tested produce, organic, non-organic, and looked at ways to get rid of the ick lurking in your salad in tonight's reality check. Andrea? Yeah, Greg, see this Petri dish? That's E. coli growing in here. We found it on a fast food salad and on other items, too. And tonight, we'll tell you the most effective ways to clean your produce. Look at that juice. Presentation is important to Jose Lee. It stimulates my appetite. He eats a plate of fruit daily. See how juicy that looks? Oh, yeah. Like many of us, he starts by rinsing off the produce with a little water. Wash off that what, what possibly could be on it. But is that really the best way to clean your produce? And what exactly is on it in the first place? To find out, we took various produce items to the University of Mobile to be tested. Okay, here we go. Into the abyss. Assistant Professor of Biology Dr. Larissa Walker tested samples and put them into Petri dishes. Four days later, we went back for the results. Ugh, now, now this... <laughs> what is that? That's nasty. I have actually never seen this kind of bacteria before. Turns out there's some pretty gross stuff on your produce. The salad we bought at a local drive through had staph and fecal matter on it. What is that? E. coli. Yeah. Now, this is what brings up the point to where you don't just have to worry about what came with the produce, but what about the people who handled it? So, skip the fast food salad. I hate to say it, but this is not encouraging. <laughs> Bagged lettuce? It claims to be washed and ready to eat. Any concerns with bag lettuce? No, I'm a bag lettuce kind of guy. Uh... Since we found fecal matter in the bag lettuce, Jose may want to reconsider. Anytime you have uh, something that is sealed up, like bag lettuce, bag spinach, it's so convenient. Um, but what's happening is you're trapping a lot of those bacteria, including fecal bacteria. And what about organic? You buy it thinking it's safer. But what you don't realize is there's actually a good chance there's fecal matter on it. While the organic foods do have uh, fewer chemicals, pesticides, fertilizers, things like that, they also typically have higher bacterial counts because uh, manure and other natural fertilizers have to be used, and that's what we saw. The organic spinach and cucumber we tested both had some present. The organic cucumber was by far the worst. It was like three-dimensional and, and was almost like coming out of the plate. Uh, I had never seen that before. So how can you take the ick out of your salad? All that rinsing you're doing? You may be getting the dirt off, but not the bacteria. Strangely, we actually saw that some of the produce uh, actually was worse after we rinsed it with water. And so I think we have to keep in mind that depending on what water source you have, that there could actually be bacteria in the water. We tried a fancy $6 bottle of produce cleaner. Walker was skeptical. Especially when they say by removing 98% more. But the Petri dishes don't lie. This stuff works. Did it remove fecal matter too? Yes. That plate is almost empty. And we tried a method I've been using lately, adding a dab of apple cider vinegar to water and letting things like grapes soak in it for 5 to 10 minutes. The Petri dish was clear of growth. You doubted my vinegar. vinegar. I did, I did, and I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. I mean, it was such a great natural way to, uh, to rinse things. But despite what's in these Petri dishes... So I think it's gross. I think it's nasty. Jose believes he can keep his fruit plate fecal matter free by sticking with his rinsing routine. You know, I've been rinsing my fruit off for years with just fresh water, and I'm still here living, feeling healthy. Now, Jose did say he tried the vinegar mixture. People ask me if it leaves behind a flavor. I don't really think so. I use the apple cider vinegar. Vinegar and water is also an effective way to clean surfaces, too. Greg? Mm, thanks so much. <laughs> so enlightening. Maybe vinegar and oil of salad dressing gets rid of it before you eat the salad, right? Uh, no, let's try to clean it first and then put the salad dressing I, on I it. I have bad news. I think there's just that and everything leaves. That's just the exactly. way it is. Just don't examine it. Mm. <laughs>